Okay, students, today we are going to learn file handling in Python. This topic has been taken from class 12th computer science. At first, we need to understand what file is. As you know, file is a place where we store our data. It can be any application where we are storing our data that becomes a file. Okay, now what file handling is? Students, it means reading data of a file or writing data into a file using Python program. What you will be doing, let me show you. Uh, this is a file students.txt. This is a notepad file. See, this is the data of this file. The lines you can see, how many lines are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 lines are there. When you read data of this file or when you are going to write data into this file from Python or using Python program. So it, it is called file handling. Okay, so there are a few points which you need to understand before beginning the uh, actual programs. First thing you need to understand is what is path of the file. Okay, path means it is a sequence. It is a sequence uh, as you can see here. Okay, let me show you. Again, this is a file, student.txt. When you right click on here, go to properties. Okay, so you will find the path of this file. Means where file is stored. It is stored in C drive, users uh, folder, then user folder inside this desktop, and then the name of the file is students in the format of file is .txt. So this is the path of this file. Okay, so there are two types of path. One is absolute path and one is relative path. Absolute path is, it shows the path from the topmost hierarchy, means where the file is stored, uh, it shows the whole path, means it is stored in C, in, again inside C, uh, drive, users folder, then user, then desktop, then this file. But what is relative path? It means just the name of file and the extension of the file. Okay, this is called relative path. You will get to know the deep knowledge of these two later on. Now come to the next point you need to understand is built-in function. There are three built-in functions you need to understand. Uh, the first is read and the second one is read line and the third is read lines. These three functions we are going to use in our programs. What, what do you mean by built-in? Built-in means these functions have some special meaning to the system. Whenever we are going to use read, it has some special meaning. What is that meaning? We are going to learn later on. When we use read line or read lines, these two also have some special meaning to the system. Okay, that is why these uh, functions are called built-in functions. And again, you must uh, know function means or method means which uh, has or which have parentheses so these parentheses okay so these are built-in functions next you need to understand modes okay so there are six types of mode r w a r plus w plus and a plus we are going to understand read mode first read mode means when we are going to use r it means we are going to read the data of the file when we want to write some data into a file we are going to use w mode okay so now we will understand all these things later on in a proper way. Okay, come to the next. What is the first step to write a program uh, or to write a program um, or you can say to handle a file from Python program? Okay, so the first step is opening file in Python program. Okay, if when you want to handle a file from Python program, the first step is opening that particular file and how you open that file using file handler what is file handler see this is file handler f1 file handler here this is an identifier you know what is identifier identifier means you can give any name over here but it cannot be a keyword okay it can be your name also it can be alphanumeric it can be um, a combination of alphabet or any single alphabet but cannot be a keyword okay so file handler equals to you will have to use this function open function open function opens the file uh, uh, 
the particular file you are going to write over here okay like i have written which file i am going to open student.txt and in which mode see we have seen six modes earlier okay here six modes r w a r plus w plus and a plus okay in which mode i am going to uh, open this file r mode okay so r mode means it will um uh, i am going to read data of this file only i cannot write any data into students.txt okay one a few things you need to understand so while giving the name to the file handler you can you can uh, use any alphabet any alphanumeric uh, things or uh, it can be a combination of any al um, alphabets any number of alphabets then equals to then you will have to use open function and you will have to uh, open the parenthesis then in double quotation see double quotation i am going to write or you will have to write the name of the particular file comma then you have to put comma and then again in double quotation you will be writing uh, mode okay in which mode you want to open this file okay so we are going to now we are going to do the actual program okay so let's just wait so here we have got this uh, python interface okay here i have written a program f1 equals to open and i am using uh, i i want to open this file students.txt in which mode r or read mode now see what is this st1 equals to f1 dot read okay so this is this is again an identifier it can be any variable any combination of uh, variable or it can be alphanumeric but it cannot be a keyword st1 equals to f1 dot read see whenever i am going to use f1 this file handler in my program it means students dot txt because in the first line or first statement i have opened this file student dot txt and uh, uh, using the file handler f1 so wherever i am going to use f1 in my program it means student dot txt so f1 dot read now see um, earlier here what we have seen these three uh, built-in functions read read line and read lines okay so which function we are going to use now read function okay see how we are going to use so f1 dot read what is the meaning of this what does it do read function reads all the data of the file okay which file that is linked to f1 and which file is linked to f1 student.txt so it will read all the data of student.txt and will store in this identifier st1 okay whatever data is here in this file student.txt it will be stored in st1 and then it will print st1 means it will print all the data okay let's run this program okay when i'm running this program see you can see there is an error this is the error okay so what is the okay so what is written file not found error okay no such file or directory student.txt okay let's fix this error see what we have done we have used here relative path okay this one this one now you need to understand here uh, when when you are writing answer in your board exam then it will work you will get marks when you are right uh, relative or uh, you are using absolute there is no issue but while writing a program in machine in computer you will have to use uh, these uh, either of these two paths very sincerely okay see where have i saved this program okay let's go to directory click on file and save as this file is saved my python file is saved you know like python and python 38 32 inside this folder okay this program is saved inside that folder but i am using student.txt it is saved in desktop as i have shown you earlier so these two files are saved in two different directories which two files one i am using here and the one this program okay so what if these two files are in two different folders or uh, at two different locations i will have to use absolute path of this file okay which i am going to 
open over here. So what was the absolute path? I remember C colon slash then I guess uh, it was users S -E -R -S, then again slash user then desktop again slash. So this was again. Okay. If you want to check, we can, I guess. Let's wait. Okay. Right click over here. Go to properties. Okay. C users, user and desktop. Okay. This is the path, I guess. Okay. Right. Now, again, come to the program. Okay. Now run this program. Okay. It is asking to save. Yes, save it. Okay, there is another error. See, now let me tell you what error is here. When you write absolute paths over here using uh, uh, in your Python, so you have to use double backslash instead of single. Okay, so use these double backslash and now, now run it. Save it. Now see the data is here. Okay, so all the data that was in students.txt it is read by this read function and is stored in st1. And when you print st1, the answer is here. This the output screen is here. Okay, so this is the output of this program. I hope you like this uh, exercise. So uh, let's meet in the next video. Thank you.